Being a KIAP meant that you were an ambassador, a police officer, an explorer, a farmer, an engineer, even an anthropologist, all in one. For the first time, we will put medals on the chests of men who in their youth served in the territory of Papua and the territory of New Guinea between 1949 and 1973. I often said that my memories of New Guinea are personal ones, memories of a beautiful country, it's vibrant people, and then I realised that when I go, they'd go. I'd crashed out of university, actually, <laughs> you really want to know. I was looking for something and I, a friend recommended the Department of Territories. They said, oh, the only uh, cadetship we've got is patrol officer. And I said, oh, that'll be great, OK. <laughs> and and long it, it happened. I was born in Salamar in 1935. My mother and father got married when patrol officers were not allowed to get married. And so he broke departmental rules and was sent, was sent off immediately to uncontrolled territory. As we were going, arrows started falling vertically out of the sky which is a bit unnerving. You, you can't see them being fired at you, they're just coming. I went to Papua New Guinea in 1949. I thought I'd stop there for six months, and 25 years later, I left. It was a wonderful time. Today, the legend of Kiap is as good as Kokoda Track, iconic in its nature. You can't talk about PNG Australia relations without reference to Kiaps and the role they played.